even know it came out. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so glad I bought this. Wow. <laughs> Make it a cry. It's so cute. <laughs> Plus, I love this freaking shop, this artist. Very good, I love.
are you doing? It is a gorgeous day today. It's raining all day. Um, but yesterday, it was kind of good that it wasn't raining because I went to the Columbus Circle uh, Christmas market and it was... It was really festive. I went to the Union Square one the other day and I was not feeling the vibes there. It was stressing me out. And the Bryant Park one is always way too overstimulating. I went there and I was like, nope, I need to get out of here. This is too much. So anyways, I went to the Columbus Circle one and it was really, really nice. And I actually found some very good gifts for my sister and her partner. I'm going to Chicago for Christmas um, to spend with them and my dog nephew and I'm really stressed uh, because Rocky doesn't like other dogs and he's met Knox before but Knox was the same size as him because he was a puppy and now Knox has grown into like a full Scottish Terrier and I'm a little scared. <laughs> so I think that Rocky will just bully him and he'll be submissive but like still is a bigger dog and i feel like i never ever delude myself that oh he's a nice dog he like blah 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 dogs natures can snap at a moment so little stress about that update on the strike at school today was technically my last day for the class that i have on tuesdays so we met up like unofficially like outside of class usually we use zoom but for today's like class um we used google meet and our personal emails so it wasn't like really class so we're still adhering to the strike the picket lines i haven't gone to picket in person because i'm um a horrible person essentially but we're literally in the 20th day of the strike and the school still doesn't want to give the part-time professors fair wages you know so now that the semester is ending it's really really stressful it's becoming even more stressful because of grades and stuff and i'm graduating technically right now so my grades need to like be in and be proper also some of my professors have not been communicating with with us with me so i don't know what's going on with them and like with my grade in that class so whatever i'm just gonna let it go it it is what it is i don't think that we'll i'll be going back to school so i'm done that's it i've gone to school for the last time already i was gonna be like last week at parsons um graduating <laughs> nope can't happen which is kind of sad for my sentimental side but like i understand why it's going on you know obviously yeah <laughs> anyways i have been doing my shop stuff i just packed some orders that i will take to the post office right now also a birthday card for my grandma's neighbor slash bestie um it's her birthday on friday so birthday card that i meant to give her when i actually saw her um last month but i forgot what else oh i've been reading i started invoking the blood yesterday because the day before i finished um the umber king which was good it was okay there were definitely problems with it should i go into my thoughts on that book i don't know let me look at what notes i wrote on it at some point i realized that i'm taking this too seriously and i need to just read it for what it is because i was just critiquing it way too hard almost it's like borderline a bad fun time this is a term that i use to define certain books like it's not a good book but i'm still like enjoying my time reading it because it's just fun even though there's so many problems with it it's a bad fun time it was like borderline a bad fun time but the last 20 percent oh that it just really gave me the ick like a lot of things were happening in that oh gross it does have spice this book invoking the blood that i'm currently reading also has spice it's a romance fantasies yeah the umber king was very predictable but predictability is is not a crime but if i can guess what's coming it gives me anxiety and me having anxiety doing a book in that kind of way takes me longer to finish it so i started invoking the blood yesterday and i'm at page 128 of like 500 <laughs> but it's 24 percent. i read 24 percent in one day that's big for me because i'm a very slow physical reader but i think that i read faster on kindle than i do like a physical book but i actually really don't know but like this has really like captivated me and i want to know what happens so i just keep next page next page i had to force myself to go to sleep because i had class today this morning so i needed to wake up for that which i woke up late anyways but whatever kind of really fun although some of the like writing okay 
clearly this author has like created this very interesting world, very thought out, structured world. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Like the author knows what world she has created and all the little pieces to it, but she's not explaining it well enough. Um, and so some of the things just don't make sense. And I'm like, did I miss something? Oh, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> but it's super interesting, so I want it to be better explained um, or more thoroughly explained. I don't know, okay? At this point, like the romance that is probably going to come, because I mean, it's in the description of the book. I'm just like, if she gets with him, there's going to be, there's going to have to be a lot of communication beforehand. Like, he's going to really have to be sorry for what he's doing right now. <laughs> this one is a vampire. But and there are other kinds of creatures in this world as well. The, the Umber King also has like multiple magical species vibes um, and this one does too and this one also has an underworld vibe like I don't know why I picked two books back to back where like something about the girl makes the guy come and take her to the underworld so I don't yeah okay so essentially for invoking the blood she bumps into the shadow prince who's a vampire and he's like omg instant attraction um gotta find her and it's a faded mate story so he's like yeah kidnapping her bringing her to the underworld and it's also dual pov so we have from the female main character and the male main character so it's really fun so far um even though i'm a little bit confused at some points still Me and my cone head, not the hat OC. <laughs>
days, so I'm reading this damn book. I'm at 58%, okay? This shit literally doesn't make sense. Like, he's done all this stuff to her, and then all of a sudden she, like, likes him, but then, like, they haven't reconciled any of the stuff he, like, was mean to her about before. And then he's still being mean about to her about that stuff. But it's not like it's a faded mate where she just can't help how she feels. She, she doesn't even feel like that pull that's like unexplainable that like would explain why she's just ignoring why he's a horrible person to her but oops that's i just made the font too small anyways and now they, she's like moved on to like this other thing which like why would she do this this ceremony so she wants to do the ceremony but why would she do this ceremony when she hasn't even done the first ceremony that she actually needs? And he even says, oh, you can't do the second ceremony until you've done the first one. Because if you don't have this, like, thing that comes out from the first ceremony, then the stuff that you do in the second ceremony will have nowhere to, like, go. But they're going ahead with the second ceremony. And he said that she can't do the, the second one. But the, why are we doing the second one? What the fuck? Like... So much about this book is, like, it's there, but it's missing something to, like, actually just explain it. It's just... Also, all of a sudden, she, at one point... It's, like, literally so stupid, but, like, at one point, they go... Looking into the blue flames. What fucking blue flames? It was never said that the fireplace that is in this place has blue flames. It just said that there was a fireplace... It never said there was blue flames. And oh, all of a sudden there are blue flames? What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? I'm literally it's driving me nuts. I also forgot to mention, what is the point of the second ceremony? What is even the point? It has not been explained. Why do we need it to happen? Also, 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 there are some weird uh, tones of virginity and children two things that i hate in romance fantasies because i feel like people never do them good i can't even imagine how you would write them well i hate the like virginity trope the like purity trope is just gross it's horrid like the purity it's just so ick it gives me the ick so bad but like this one is just so fucking it's like not making any sense and then the children trope like what the heck that literally came out of nowhere like why are we talking about children all of a sudden? This book is driving me nuts. Also, yes, I lost a nail, okay? I'm so annoyed and sleepy, but I need to figure out what the fuck is going on in this book. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rocky. Okay, I want to clarify something. I There's a difference between keeping you in the dark so that it's explained later and purposely not telling you things because they want to tell you later but you have to tell us something beforehand <laughs> this book is driving me nuts i think that things are going to be more explained now but wait what i'm filming this on my phone but like what why is it all blurry am i in portrait mode here are my nails by the way
Peace. So, reading update. I am still reading a book in blood because it's so fucking long, apparently. I was reading late into the night. I was laying on my couch for ages just reading. I'm a very distracted reader. Like, I'll go look at my phone and then I'll read and then I'll look at my phone. Um, but sometimes I get super in the zone. So, I was talking about with the last book how I had to, at a certain point, I had to be like, this is a bad fun time. Let me stop taking it so seriously. But those like, bad fun time books still, you know, there are still points where things make sense. But in this book, what is going on? Like, so many things are not explained. I was just literally losing it, but I could not stop reading. And now, because I was up so late last night reading, I woke up really late today. And I'm angry <laughs> that it, that this is the reason why i woke up so late today <sighs> at page 382 um which is 71 percent which is chapter 57 um literally saved me like it's, it's just so contrary and so clunky and so aggravating and i'm getting just so wrapped up in it in the moment like i'm hyper fixating on what what's so annoying about this book hyper fixating yeah, that's the way. That's another way you use that phrase, right? Um, because normally I use it in the context of like hyperfixating. I watch Encanto and listen to Dos Oruguitas 88 times in January alone within two weeks. I got my Spotify wrapped the other day and Dos Oruguitas was, yeah, was my top played song, I think it said. Um, which is funny <laughs> because that was only within. What, uh, two weeks, a two week time period <laughs> in January. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I need to finish this. It needs to be over. <sighs> I'm like, I think that all of these things that are so frustrating and not making sense are gonna wrap up. Like it has to, it needs to wrap up and like tie up and you know, explain it all. But even if it does that, later after this like 70% mark, I'm gonna be like, it, it's too late. It should have been explained earlier. I think I explained myself better yesterday with my, with my hand videos, but. What the fuck? I don't know if it's making it so frustrating so that we have a good payoff later on, but like, I really couldn't forgive people for acting this way or for like, no not in a lifelong eternity long relationship just okay anyways so i reading that and tomorrow is friday my newest bookmarks are coming in the mail so i have three new bookmarks one of them is in collaboration with my granny she doesn't really understand what a collaboration is but um all the money that i make from the sale of this one certain bookmark I will be sending to my granny. I have two other bookmarks, two other new bookmarks, restock of diner bookmark, restock of secret garden, which I don't know why the last time that I restocked that I like had such a little amount of it because I think that people like that print set. I don't know what's wrong with me and I haven't restocked it in a long time because I literally forgot about it um, until somebody asked and they were like, hey, are you ever going to restock this? I really want it. And I was like, good idea. <laughs> Anyways, excited to finish this damn book. So, what's that? 70%. I have like 200 pages left and I like don't, I really am not in the mood for another late night of reading this book, but it has to happen because I want to finish this soon. 